So this is my journey into changing my Pavo Pico into a Pavo Pick. So at the moment I'm taking apart my Pavo Pico because I'm not happy with the performance. What I'm doing is I'm taking the board out and I'm gonna be putting it into my toothpick style frame. Um, putting this board in there, keeping the motors in with this one. These motors are, so the motors are happy model. EX12025 and the KV is 6400. But the reason basically, I'm not getting very good flight times with this. It's got prop wash and I really don't like it. I need, what I need is good flight time, um, stability um, with good footage. So I'm also going to be stripping down my DJI air unit, getting the canopy made up for this one. Um, and then I should be able to house my DJI unit stripped down and yeah, hopefully make it fly. So we'll see and see how it goes. Right guys, if you wanted to do this build, uh, it's pretty easy. You don't need a computer to do this. What you will need to do is alter two of the wires around the opposite ways on this corner and two wires from this motor here. You need to swap two wires around on this one, reverse them into the plug. But the little pins there, you just pop them up with a little blade and swap the wire over, vice versa. And the same with that other corner, do the same with that. And then plug it back in. Um, with this cable, you are going to want to make sure that this is tucked into the board i'm going to rubber mount these as well into that bit i'm going to rubber mount those you're going to want to make sure that this wire is over the top of that and tucked over and sort of folded for the air unit to go on top so it's going to want to look like this when the air unit goes on top so that you don't have a strike from the um onto the air unit because it's quite close it's quite close on that wire you can't really see it but you don't want this prop to hit that otherwise you'll lose signal lose everything so make sure you tuck the wire under and if you're wondering what these two wires are here that is my buzzer so this is the buzzer info if you needed it and you wanted to wire your one in very handy you won't be able to hear these motors if you lose it in the grass so yeah that's why i've done that so at the moment this is 40 grams so this is with the air unit and cage 40 grams the cage is removed and it comes out 38 grams camera housing removed 34 grams so what i've done so far is remove the o3 canopy and place it in my canopy which i have got land around and just board that out the hole um, board the hole out for this camera itself to go in and just slotted it in there like that so the o3 air unit is now stripped down and it now weighs 18 grams o3 air unit and camera housing all intact 20 grams total weight at the minute of the drone that's without the extended um, bolts to go through the centers so at the moment the quad itself with loaded with the motors props as it is is 40 grams with the o3 air unit itself with antennas weighs in at 55 grams and then with the o3 air unit camera and wire harness 60 to 61 grams it's saying total weight so far that's without the sd card yeah, so we're nearly done at 60 grams. What you need, this is a two mil drill bit, and you need to just bore out these holes for the air unit to two mil. So be very careful doing this. Um, but yeah, bore these holes out to two mil. They should fit the longer screws. Obviously you want these to go in there like that, so that they fit your new flight stack. 
that is basically it guys that is how you build this pavo pick if you've built this version let me know in the comments let me know tell me your thoughts